Peace. I'm on my shit. Yeah, you talking shit again. Yeah, I know that's you over there, politic and shit. Yeah, I said that before, but I'ma have to let you know that I mean something when I do this thing. Not for shit, y'all. It's your boy Ab One, and I'm here in Harlem, New York, for another edition of the Face to Face series. Today, I'm here with not only record recording artist, artist, but an actor. You wrote that film? Yeah. And a writer, a fashion designer, all around entrepreneur, Car Lovey Music. Music. <laughs> What's going on, people? It's your boy Carl Lovey. Harlem, we out here. What's up, huh? There it is, there it is. First thing, you from Harlem. You know I gotta ask you, yo. How you feel about that versus? <laughs> <laughs> I mean I see I see why I see why the lights got it, but I'm I'm jacking dipset, man. I feel it. That's you. it. But I see of course, as a, as a, as a, you know what I mean, as a person who do the same thing, like, you know what I mean, I'm in the same field, so I, I, I get it, I get it. The whole, um, the mood of crowd, the, 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 the stage presence, like everything Jada, Jada had it on lock, you know what I'm saying? Styles, you know what I mean? She, they, they, they had it, they had it. It was real in sync. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that, but me? I don't know. I think Dipset had more hits. I feel like they wasn't in sync, as 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 they, they they wasn't unified like like the locks. But I'm going with hometown, man. I feel, I feel you. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even hating because I'm a locks fan too. But when they announced the initial verses, I was like, bro, Dip got it, yo. I'm like, chill. But I feel like it's because I feel like their hits are more memorable. Because a lot of the times when the locks was dropping, I'm like, I I was forgetting like, oh, I forgot they had that and this and the third. Right, but right. The dips, you just always remember it. I, mean? yeah. I don't know what it is. Who knows? It could be our generation. I really don't even know. But I mean, it's, it's an unpopular opinion right now. So you know, everybody gonna say the locks, but yeah, pretty much. But that was a win for hip hop anyway. Though. Nah, yeah, of yeah, course, that was definitely a win, win for, for hip hop. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So I just heard your new joint, my gun go bang. Right, right. That joint is fire, and that's why I wanted to ask you about the verses because I had like a lot of. Uh, it definitely had a dip feeling to it. Very Harlem, <laughs> but very, you know what I'm saying. The lyrics was definitely crazy. Uh, so what made you, when you come up with a lot of your records, I see they have like a lot of samples to them. Yeah, yeah, true, true. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them be very vibe heavy, which is dope. Like I could just play it and be in any sort of setting right, right. and it'll be fire. So like, what's your, uh, right, what's your, mi your, man your mindset when you go into the studio? I mean, as far as that, that particular record, it had a lot of, a lot of illegal situations, <laughs> illegal, illegal stuff lingering around. And I just, you know what I mean? Off the top, just went crazy, that's all. Fire. You had this one line where you was like, I'm talking, but you talking. Please stop talking while I'm talking. And yeah, I yeah. Like, <laughs> That's how I am, man. That's real life for me. Like, I appreciate, I appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes when I, because I'm passionate like that, you feel me? So sometimes when I'm like, yo, chill, I like, let me, let me, let, let me finish, let me finish. Yeah. If you were the versus anybody, who would it be? <laughs> Alive or dead, it don't matter. Sign, unsigned, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Carl Lovey versus who? Whoever, whoever want to do the verses, man. I'm open. I'm all, let's work, let's work. There it is, let's get anybody, it, let's get Anybody want to do the verses, man. Fire. See me. I see the branding, Carl Lovey Music, you know what I'm saying? He got the kicks, you know what I'm saying? I don't know oh, if yeah, the camera yeah. can see it. You know what I'm saying? He got everything, the shirt, all that, man. Yeah. What made you want to, what, what made you want to get into that? I've been, I mean, everything go back to the music, that's why, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I've been, um, probably since like 2011, I had shirts out. But it started from just um, just getting people more familiar with the music, you know. So just doing it like that, and then by the time I got to like 2019, that's when it branched off to like you know footwear, socks, oh, yeah. and sweatsuits, and book bags, and all that type of stuff. So. Do you feel like the branding helps people gravitate toward you more as an artist? Like some people, oh, I got this shirt. I didn't even know that was you. Yeah, you know yeah. I go through there. Cause some people will know the name and won't know the face. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, oh, you call Love Your Music? Oh, I heard that name. Or, oh, you rap? Oh, that was you. Oh, I saw your shirt. Or, oh, I, I like. So I go do that. Oh, I saw your hat. Like, mm. yeah. Oh, you do like the, the trucker drinks too? Yeah, I got truckers. What? I got um, uh, snapbacks. Yeah, I got Fire. uh, beanies. I got scullies. Okay. Yeah, I okay. got all that. All that. Call Love Your Music, man. Make sure you get that. Yo, you said fall, the fall one coming? Yeah, they coming. I got more coming in the fall. This fall coming up. There you go. So, do you enjoy, like, what process do you enjoy the most? Because you do films, too. We're going to jump yeah. into that in a second. So, <laughs> the films, the fashion, and the music, which one, which process do you enjoy the most? 
I like the music. Okay, <laughs> the okay, music. okay. That's, everything go back to the music. The that. filming, the clothes. I love all of it, but the music is my number one. Like, mm, that's, why I, that's the first passion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the COVID hit, which that was the one that you really dove into, the music? Cause I know there was like nothing really going on out here like during the whole COVID lockdown, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, COVID, nah, see the thing with COVID for me, it was like, it was the clothes. Mm. Clothes, everybody was buying clothes during COVID, everybody. Facts. But I was I was going crazy with the music, but it was more like on my like on my Instagram, a lot of like, um, like those challenges they was doing. Yeah. The freestyles and all that. Yeah. I was keeping up with all that just to, you know what I mean? Um, like lyrical exercise. Got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. But the, yeah, the clothes were definitely, yeah. everybody was ordering off Amazon. So if they had, I mean, they was getting like the stimulus checks and all of that. Yeah. So they just had money to just blow. They wasn't going nowhere. Right, right, you know right, right, like, right, right. Places were shut down. Right. Friend zone the franchise. Because you got three of them. Yeah, it's a trilogy, facts. There it is. What made you come up with that? <laughs> the flip it. I want the flip okay. it. I feel like as far as the independent films, um, like the like the web series that was out at the time, a lot of it was like all like it's kind of the same concept, like you know. And I feel like friend zone. It was like I feel like nobody tapped into the romantic comedy feel, so I just tapped in like, and I, I challenged the friend zone because I ain't. I mean, I, I have female friends, but I ain't never really been in a friend zone. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just tapped in. But I do got female friends, though. I, mean. I feel you. I feel you. I mean, it's only right. You know? yeah. I feel like as a creative, we always have friends that are uh, of the opposite gender. Do you think it's Do you think uh, it's possible for men and women to be friends? Like real, like friends, friends, though. Like, um, uh. To be honest, to be real, sorry fellas, <laughs> sorry fellas, I don't think so, I don't think so, I don't think so, cause I don't really got to, I, I, I ain't even gonna hold you, I probably got like one or two female friends I can say like, nah that's really just my friend bro, Facts. like I don't look at her like that, nothing like, but other than that it ain't, nah, cause somebody gonna like somebody. Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> it's gonna take that one time, somebody. somebody get lit one time, they do something, they yeah, say something, like, it's like everything so I don't changes. really recommend it, I don't really... Females out here, you got your oh that's my that's my brother, that's my mm, nah. <laughs> we know we know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't even gonna do that. Like that's sis. No, that's not. I just know her. Fact, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They gonna be sis for very long, you know what I mean? So yeah. with friend zone, uh you said you wrote that. How long like did it take for you to write the whole script and like put that all into the production process? Well, part one, when I dropped part one uh 2017. Okay. I dropped part one. And I put it out. I put it out July 2017. Mm. But I started filming. That 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 process was a quick process. I started filming. I think. I think March. Mm. I started filming in March. But with the help for that, because it's, it's, it's um, it's a script, but it, you know it's also improv. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So improv so actually helped. You know what I'm saying? Mm. To speed up the process. But it's a lot of it's a lot of lines in there that's like these the um scripted lines. I see. I you know see. What I'm saying to pin to pinpoint each scene together and stuff like that. But the improv actually helped. And I like improv because I've I've done different, like I've done stage plays. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've done script uh acting, improv acting, you know what I'm saying, on camera, off camera, behind the scene, helping with the camera equipment, like I've I've, I've done all the elements. So I, I like improv. Cause I feel like, well, I mean, cause you could bring a piece of you with the character. You know what I'm saying? You, sure. you, you, you could kind of finesse it how you want. And then for me, my characters, I kind of pick people I felt they already had that personality that go with the character. That, you know what I'm So those, those type of people I pick for the movies. So, so you're like an all around creative man. Yeah, you can you know say that. That's what it is. I mean, so am I too. Like we do films and everything too. Right, I don't right, just right. Work yeah, I seen that. I mean, yeah, right. you already know. So yeah, that's dope. That. Like all, I mean, like all around. That's what it is. Is, is it gonna be like a a, a friend zone four, or are you gonna try to like branch off from another, like not even romantic comedy, something different? Nah, for nah, the next nah, movie? nah. The next one gonna be a little more serious. Okay. Friend zone three is out right now. So yeah. If, you know what I mean, everybody go watch friend zone three. If you ain't watched one and two, catch up is on YouTube, exclusively on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, Call Lovey Music, Friends on Three, the movie. Right. But right. yeah, I'm 
far as nah, the next movie is gonna be serious, and then I might jump back in. I don't know if I'm gonna do a four though. Okay, it might just okay. be a whole nother movie. Okay, okay. Yeah. You gonna do like a drama? Yeah, I gotta right. get serious one time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. All right, let the people know. You know what I'm saying? Whatever projects you got coming out. You know what I'm saying? And get, drop your Instagram and be lit. Be out of here. Yeah, it's your boy Call Love You Music. Um, Gungo, go check out the song Gungo exclusively on YouTube. Go check out the movie Friend Zone 3 on YouTube. Everything else is on all streaming platforms. You can check out everything, all the music, and download everything. Call Lovey Music. You want the merch? That's Instagram. Hashtag Call Lovey Wear. There it is. That's what I wanted to ask you before we jump up out of here. Your process when you do the clothing, like I see the shoes, they, they, they look like really official. Did that, was it difficult? Like was the process difficult or tedious? Nah, I just gotta find the right manufacturer, you know, mm. you know what I'm saying? It was all right, it was a breeze. <laughs> there, there it is right there, man, Call Love Me Music. Make took sure a few years in. though, it took a few years though, but we here now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is, man. I'm Ab One, that's Carl Lovey, man. Make sure you tap in, watch Friends 03, check out his new record, Gungo, we out of here. Music. Fire.